The Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Housing and the Environment presents the first annual National Week of Agriculture 2013 from May 26 to May 31st under the theme, Buy Local, Eat Local, We Are What We Grow. The week will be filled with workshops to sharpen the knowledge of persons in the sector and an exciting exhibition which will run from the 30th and 31st of May. Registration is only 50 EC dollars and can be done at the ministry's headquarters at Country Pond, the extension division next to the public market or download from the government website at www.antigua.gov.ag. So get involved, farmers, arts and crafts, agro-processors, one and all. Buy local, eat local, we are what we grow. Good day, you're listening to Focus on Agriculture in Antigua and Barbuda, and I'm your host, Wendy Tittle, the Communications Coordinator attached to the Ministry of Agriculture. And this week, our focus is on the National Week of Agriculture 2013. And today, my guest is Mr. Sereno Benjamin, the Extension Officer attached to the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Housing, and the Environment. He is also the Exhibition Chairperson on the National Week of Agriculture Committee, which will run from May 26 to May 31st at the Multipurpose Cultural Center. Under the theme, Buy Local, Eat Local, We Are What We Grow. Mr. Benjamin, welcome to ABS Radio, Focus on Agriculture in Antigua and Barbuda. Good day, Wendy, and thanks a lot for inviting me. Mr. Benjamin, tell us, what is your role as the exhibition chairperson? My role is to have the venue organized, that is, lay out the people who decide to participate in the exhibition, find the space that they would use, and organize it in such a way that the exhibition follows the theme, that people learn something from it. So I hold discussion with the people who would be exhibiting at the exhibition to discuss with them some of what we would expect them to purchase and what we want the general public to gain from attending the exhibition. Okay. What are the events? for the week, for the National Week of Agriculture. Now, I know it starts from the 26th to the 31st. If you could just give us an idea of what will happen within that week between those days. All right, the, the Sunday the 26th, that would be a church service. But on the Monday, that is when we really start to do things at the Multipurpose Cultural Center. On that day, we're gonna have, on the Monday the 27th, we're gonna have a brief ceremony where we will be receiving some materials, some educational materials that were developed between the Gilbert Agricultural and World Development Center and the Ministry of Agriculture. And these materials would be used in the education of people involved in agriculture. So that would take place on the Monday. In addition to that, there would be a symposium with farmers, wholesalers, hoteliers, and restaurateurs, where we would be holding what you can term as a forum, a discussion about how each person could play their role in producing things and utilizing things that are grown in Antigua and Barbuda. On the Tuesday, we would be having an extension and livestock division would be teaming up and what we'll be discussing then is what are the standards that producers in Antigua and Barbuda should meet so that people could feel safe about the foods that, that are produced in Antigua and Barbuda as well as some of the quality standards that would be expected for foods grown in Antigua and Barbuda. Then on the Wednesday, we'll be focusing on the youths. The youth, Abafi, would be holding a symposium, and Abafi means the Antigua and Barbuda uh, Agricultural Forum for Youth. They, in conjunction with the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation in Agriculture, would be having their activities on that day, and the discussion theme 
for their symposium would be our culture needs the youth. On the Wednesday, we would have Caribbean Chemicals, which is one of the leading chemical agencies in the Caribbean. They would be visiting and they would be holding a, a workshop in Antigua and Barbuda at the Multipurpose Cultural Center. Then on the Thursday, we would have the Zero Hunger and Backyard Garden Day. And the Thursday is when we would also have the exhibits. That's the first day when we would be having the exhibits on display so persons could come and see the exhibits. During that day also, we would be having where people could come and see educational videos, participate in um, educational uh, lectures, and, and different things would be taking place throughout the day. So people could come and if possible, we may repeat the, the, the same thing sometime late, later in the day. But that, that would happen on the Thursday. The Thursday afternoon also is when we'll be doing the judging of the participants. So mm -hmm. there'll be a judging activity. And then on the Friday, we'll continue with the exhibition. We'll have a workshop with um, Agro Services Limited from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. They'll be coming and they'll be having their workshop. The Friday also would have the Mango Fest launch and the closing ceremony, ceremony. Okay. On, on, on the, the Friday. And, so it and is on a the Friday, of activity. right? And on yeah. the Friday, can persons? Uh, w when will persons be able to purchase? Is it okay? On well, Friday? well, no. We we have said to the persons who participate in that, whichever day, Thursday, Friday, if they wish to sell produce or whatever products they have on the Thursday and on the Friday, they're free to sell. That's after the judge judging is being done. Okay, well, if they have things to replace what they have on, on the table, and this is what we're encouraging exhibitors to do, to have enough items that they could sell items mm -hmm. and do not disturb the display right. on the table. Right. So everybody coming would be able to benefit from their display. And what they would do is bring along some extra products that they could um, sell to people or they could um, have taste tests and all these kind of things. Sampling done throughout right, the day. Right. All right. So it's going to be a fun-filled week and the dates are May 26th to the 31st of May and it's at the Multipurpose Cultural Center. Now, how could one be a part of this exhibition? Okay. People who wish to participate in the exhibition, we are asking them to register and registration forms could be obtained from the Ministry of Agriculture, the Agricultural Extension Division also. Ministry of Agriculture is by country pond. Agricultural Extension Division is east of King George V Crown. People could go there, they get a registration form, they fill out the registration form. The registration fee is $50. The person who, who register can be anybody who that is involved in craft, Mm -hmm. uh, agro processing mm -hmm. or in uh, produce production. Okay. 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 So they, they could even be a livestock farmer, whoever. Once you're producing something and you want the general public to see what you have, mm -hmm. so that the general public could be um, excited about your product, then we encourage persons to come and participate in the exhibition. And for those that are internet savvy, you could always download the uh, registration form from www.antigua.gov.ag. That's www.antigua.gov.ag. Now, this is going to be a fun-filled week. It's going to be an exciting week. It's also going to be informative and showcasing. We're asking each and every one to come on out and support it and to be a part of it. What can a person expect to see at the exhibition on the 30th and 31st? Okay, now here, here we're getting into business. We expect that persons would see plants, uh, livestock products, mm -hmm. agro process item, and mm -hmm. craft items. Now, one of the things that we're going to be doing is that we're going to be doing a lot of educational activity. Okay. So. In the boots, particularly the boots uh, related to the Ministry of Agriculture, mm -hmm. you persons would be able to learn. For example, we would set up a information boot. Not information okay. boot, but we would set up on the outside mm -hmm. 
once a person reached there they would see an area in which we would have a environmental section right we we would be showing a forest mm -hmm. and then we'd be showing a uh agro forest in terms of that we'd be showing how you do food trees and different okay. food trees and so on right okay. and we'd actually have the slopes and all of that and we'd do budding and grafting um we'd show people how to bud and graft and people would get an opportunity to practice budding, budding and grafting that that would be on the outside you would see that on the inside at the boats we'd have things like the common pests Mm -hmm. in Antigua and Barbuda, people will be able to see them. <laughs> that should be exciting to right. see. For, for example, you would hear people talk about Jacob in sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people would tell you that Jacob is caused by sun, it's this and so on. We actually have the causative agent on show. Mm -hmm. We would have a number of other pests mm -hmm. on show. Mm -hmm. We would have some common weeds in mm -hmm. Antigua and Barbuda where people would get an idea as to what is the name, the scientific name, as well as what is the local name. Mm -hmm we would also have some things that people don't realize that you can eat like sweet <laughs> potato parsley and mm -hmm. different things mm -hmm. we'll be showing those and having um information on them so that persons could recognize that there are a lot of things around us that we could be utilizing utilizing right the other thing that we'll be doing we'll be having like uh, meat Mm -hmm. on display and then we'd be showing persons how you get the different cuts okay. of meat like a okay. picnic from right. pork and, and, and such things like spear rib how you get spear rib and okay. those kind of things we'd be demonstrating to people how you get do, do, those meat cuts so there, there'd be a lot for persons to see once they come along and it would be quite educational so no school age person should miss it and then parents and exams are coming up too right so and it's it's coming you know at the right time to educate you you may be able to walk away from this week with knowledge that you can actually put a project together and ace your your agricultural subject in the secondary school right and and then for the parents who don't know as much or who would want to know things about our culture then this is the place that they could be and for people in general who want to see what is being produced in Antigua and Barbuda, mm -hmm. then this is the place for them, for to, them to, be. to be. All right, I'm your host, Wendy Tittle, and I'm the communications coordinator attached to the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Housing, and the Environment. And I've been speaking with Mr. Sereno Benjamin, and he's an extension officer attached to the Ministry of Agriculture as well. He's also the exhibition chairperson for the National Week of Agriculture 2013. Mr. Benjamin, your final Final remarks as we close the program for today. I just want to invite Antigua and Barbuda to come down to the Multipurpose Cultural Center, participate in our activities for the week, Monday to, to Friday. On From Monday to Thursdays, we'll be having lectures. Thursdays and Fridays, we'll be displaying our stuff, and persons could just come along and participate. Alrighty, there you have it, Mr. Sereno Benjamin, the chairperson for the National Week of Agriculture, and he's the exhibition chairperson, and that week starts from the 26th to the 31st of May, 2013, and it will be at the Multipurpose Cultural Center uh, next week. Join us next week. Our focus will still be on agriculture in Antigua and Barbuda. We want to educate you. We want to excite you, and we want to give you all the information that you need so you can get involved in agriculture in Antigua and Barbuda. My guest next week will be Mr. Owalabi Alabanjo. He's also an extension officer and he is also the education and training chairperson on the committee for the National Week of Agriculture. So until then, have a blessed day and have a healthy one. The Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Housing and the Environment presents the first annual National Week of Agriculture 2013 from May 26th to May 31st under the theme, Buy Local, Eat Local, We Are What We Grow. The week will be filled with workshops to sharpen the knowledge of persons in the sector and an exciting exhibition which will run from the 30th and 31st of May. Registration is only 50 EC dollars and can be done at the ministry's headquarters at Country Pond, the extension division next to the public market or download from the government website at www.antigua.gov.
www.agrocooperative.ag. So get involved, farmers, arts and crafts, agro-processors, one and all. Buy local, eat local. We are what we grow. Like it up, no tomorrow. Like it up, no tomorrow.